Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's Sean Khalifa, man. Planes and Mr. Spacely. Jets. Whatever you want to call me, man. Taylor I'm Gang or die. And yeah. this project is yeah. brought to you by no Champagne uh, and Paper Planes, too. Yeah. Rush the records in this. Yeah. Taylor Gang, happy hustle. Deal or no deal. Hey, just arrived to Houston, Texas, and I gotta say, here's the message of the day. If you want to increase your patience to a whole another level, sit next to a crying kid for three hours. It'll be expanded to another level. Peace. Hey, Houston treats me well. They sent me a lemo. <laughs> Do we have any Iranian cowboys? That Texas has influenced them so much that they wear cowboy hats and boots. Enjoy any the chandelier makes it all happen. Okay. Chandelier. Nice meeting you guys. The way this show came about was really interesting. I was checking my emails and I got an email from a fan. I am a CEO and the founder of Kenny Solutions. We are the IT technology solution company. I was I was in the uh, I went to police academy, but I got out. It wasn't for me because I'm a connected. I'm a social person. I can't go to the window and knock. Say, ma'am, can I see your driving license, proof of insurance? Hi, by the way, you look good. <laughs> you can't, you know. <laughs> That's not a cop. <laughs> This guy was really nice and said, hey man, I, I watched your videos online and I really like you and I think you're very funny, you made me laugh. I was watching YouTube, believe it or not, and I like this guy. I, I searched for, you know, comedian and all this stuff. Well, you know, I want to hear some jokes. It's, and I searched, this guy came up, Max and Mini. I noticed the Texans get away with some amazing stuff. I was there, but I saw the real cowboys in there. They were hanging out, and this old lady was sitting next to her husband, and we're all sitting at the bar. And, and I noticed they, they, they're very comfortable with saying their opinion, whatever the hell they want to say, and they put a little God bless at the end, and it makes it okay. <laughs> it's fascinating. This lady looked at this girl, she goes, look at that girl, she looks like a foot. A God bless a little heart. <laughs> I made it okay. I gotta get a hold of this guy. I gotta tell him, thanks buddy, you know, you really made me laugh. And I really find out that he's very, he makes everything personal. That that's his key to success. And I just put him in touch with somebody else, even though I'm not in that kind of industry. I'm a petroleum engineer working for oil company. I am a member of a group. Uh, we are involved with the mainly cultural activities. Uh, this time we wanted to organize an entertainment event. That was our first, first experience and we wanted just to try and see and also have an excuse to get people together. He was uh, very straight, very honest, very easy to work with and uh, friendly and modest. So I got a very nice first impression from him. And uh, I found somebody who's, uh, who's not only is a very good artist, but also is a very good human being. I'm like, no, I'm Iranian and my name is Ahmad. It's like, who does that? What's up, buddy? <laughs> I, what's happening? <laughs> Scaring the hell out of me. I didn't know it's all ages. I thought the event was 18 and over. They told me, I'm serious, they told me it's 18 and over. My girlfriend is sitting in the car. <laughs> yeah, player, player. <laughs> it's a joke, but a joke, it's a joke. They're looking at me, oh, 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 oh. He's Ted outside. On that age. Yeah, Iranian men, we like them, ladies young. 
it's part of the culture. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't make it up. Uh, somebody help this kid. <laughs> Even his parents gave up. They're like, ah, oh, just go, run around, uh, embarrass us, go. So once we decided to do the show in Houston, the gentleman that originally sent me that email drove all the way from Austin to Houston, which is a three hour drive, to see my show in Houston. The moment he got here, you know, we were busy with the event and all this stuff, take him here, you know, go here, meet these people, go to all the event, get him ready. You know, he didn't get that much sleep. And I told him, you know, I want to give you something. He said, what are you going to give me? I said, we're going to go to a Starbucks. I ordered Doppia Campano, which is a very strong shot of spritz, so he never had it. But as soon as I give him the Doppia Campano and after two minutes, he was just, I mean, let's go, what we're going to do. When marimba rhythm start to play, dance with me, it's Make the thrill of only you know how. Actually, the performance went very well. The only concern that I had, a little bit, not much, before the show or when, you, when uh, Max started was, if he picks on somebody and he goes too far, and uh, that never happened. The Persian family. family. Isn't that your family? <laughs> my family. You don't understand my family. I think he's Persian, he's pretending he's not. I don't understand your family. I get my family, I wanna know more about yours. So far, I don't get it. <laughs> I thought, okay, there's a guy coming in, he's, he's trying to pretend to he's funny, and because, you know, that's, that's what he does. He, you know, he, that's his business. But actually, it wasn't like that. That was him. Max has grown up in um, Iranian environment. So he knows the culture. Because he's one of them, he knows the culture, he knows the red lines. And he never approached those red lines. And this is very good. If even an Iranian background comedian with purely American or any other cultural uh, affiliation performs, that might have been different. But are you, you married to that beautiful lady next to you? Not yet. You're testing it out? <laughs> we don't accept that kind of thing in, in, in our community. I think I have to announce tonight your last night in that relationship. And it's not my fault you messed it up for yourself. You should have cooperated in an all-Iranian crowd say, Wow, I love this, and laugh regardless. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, but look, she's a beautiful lady, and, and I hope you make good money. That's what it comes down to. I'm helping you up. Maybe they'll love me more when I'm gone. I don't wanna leave, but I need to. It's such a shame. They gon' miss this play. 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 I try to believe you. I don't wanna leave, but I need to. Rock, 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 Follow me on Twitter at Max Comedian. Did you hear me? At Max Comedian. Serious time. <laughs>